Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at a couple things from Inception Designs, specifically the AR100 body kit for the EMF100. We're also going to be taking a look at the AR100 stock adapter, but that's not here right now. We'll get to that. Give us a minute. And if you're not familiar with the AR100 kit, it is this thing right here. It's, you know, a pretty nondescript black metal tube. And what it does is you install it on your EMF 100 and it allows you to attach a real steel handguard, um, which is neat. And if you have the stock adapter, it allows you to attach a real steel stock as well. So super neat. So if you're trying to like tack to cool up your EMF 100, take a look at this because this will do it. Um, on top of being able to attach real steel accessories, it also just gives it a little bit more of like a tactical look. It's a, a little bit less space gun than the AMF 100 is. Um, so yeah, rather than just keep talking about it, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Um, very, very easy. I'm certain you could figure it out on your own, but just in case, I'll show you how to do it now. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you need to remove the trigger frame and magwell. And it's pretty easy. It's basically just a one screw there and one screw there. Take them out and then it just drops right out. I'm not going to make you watch me do that, but I'm going to do that now. Now your next step is actually going to be removing the detents from your EMF 100 simply because the AR 100 body does not come with its own detents. So you are going to have to swap them over. Really, really easy. You're just going to remove that little screw on each side and then the detents are going to come out underneath the cover. Next, you're going to remove your bolt. Now to do that, there's this little tab on the bottom. You're going to actually pull backwards and that's going to pop out like this. And this circular piece is just going to slide out after that. Once you have that slid out, you're going to take your Allen key, get her in there and just unscrew the bolt. Next, you're going to install your detents back into the AR100 body by just sort of dropping them in there and then installing the detent covers. Next, we're going to reinstall the magwell and trigger frame and you're just going to take this little lip right there, put it in the slot rotate it into place and then reinstall the two screws there and there. Now, if you don't have the stock adapter, then you are basically done. All you got to do is slide your bolt back in and screw it into place. If you do have the stock adapter, there are a couple more steps. And the first one would be to remove the back cap off of your bolt. Now, full disclosure, we don't actually have the stock adapter from Inception Designs. They just weren't available when we made this video. But we did get a friend to 3D print us essentially the exact same thing. And uh, that way we could still show you how to install it. So basically you're going to install this where your back cap already was. Onto the back of the bolt. So once you have the stock adapter attached to the back of the bolt, we're going to slide that bolt back in and just kind of shove it in a little bit. And then we're actually going to take the stock, the buffer tube from the stock, and we're going to thread that in as well. And then we're going to use that as leverage to thread the bolt the rest of the way in. Now, if your buffer tube is not oriented in the right direction yet, don't worry, we're not there yet. But what's more important is you want to make sure that there's a little hole in the stock adapter and you want that to line up with the actual body itself. So you're going to screw it in to the point where that hole lines up. And then we're just going to throw the included bolt in the hole. Once you have that screw in place, now you can figure out the orientation of the buffer tube itself. Line that up and get her nice and tight. And you're done. That's all you got to do. Now you can install real steel stocks onto your EMF 100 and any real steel handguard that takes a barrel nut. And uh, just to give you an idea of the final product, here is our standard out of the box EMF 100. And here is our EMF 100 with the Inception Design AR 100 body kit on it. Yeah. So it's kind of like a you versus the guy she told you not to worry about situation. But uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Like, 
I think this looks fantastic. I think this looks really, really nice. And it's like a very, very different feel for this marker. But uh, yeah, are you guys excited about this? Does anyone have one of these? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let us know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.